Jenny is, um, she's my age and she looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> she won't acknowledge that bad things are happening, everything is temporary. And she also tries to lie her way out of difficulty. Clifford? Jenny? What a coincidence, bumping into you, here. Not really, you've been tailing me for the past 15 minutes. Ah. She's very much in love with her husband. I think they probably met at business school and um, they've, they've made this decision as a couple that um, they're going to have one safe job, which is hers, and then one sort of high risk. Does this mean that you, you'll get a job now? Well, I have a job, Len. I think you'll find that entrepreneur is a pretty good job, actually. Len is a, a, a retired man who is probably something like an engineer. Um, he's actually rather pleased um, at, the, <clears throat> at the arrival of the daughter and the children. The husband he's not too keen on because the husband he thinks is a pillock, played wonderfully by Darren Strange, really marvellous performance. You're not Len, you're Stelios, off of EasyJet. Oh, right. So, Mr Stelios, on behalf of your airline, would you like to purchase 20,000 cans? Well, first of all, thank you, Mr Pope, for your charming performance. But no, I'm afraid I won't be buying any tins of drink. In fact, the best advice I can give you is to quit this business nonsense entirely and get a proper trade. Could you just say yes, Len? Yes. Yes! To a man like Len, this is just anathema. He just sits around all day. He doesn't do anything. The interesting thing is that the son-in-law absolutely adores the father-in-law who has absolute contempt for him, <laughs> but he thinks he's great. Len and Alma have had two daughters, Jenny and Chrissy, and Jenny's been good at school and gone off to university and got a degree, and Chrissy's gone the wag route, and it is perma-tanned, bleached teeth. Chrissy's just delighted that Jenny's, Jenny's come home, so Chrissy's always pointing out that, you know, you must be... You must be feeling dreadful, yeah? You must be feeling, like, really, really awful, thinking my disaster of a life's just got even worse. I know that you're a proud person and that you've never asked for our help, but seriously, me and Nigel have talked about this and I'd like to give you something to help with this difficult time. Oh, no, oh, Chrissy. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no, 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 I won't take no for an answer. Please, accept this. What is it? That's an angel, Jenny. That's your angel. Oh! No, you're religious, Chrissy. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with religion, Jenny. It's an angel. Oh. OK, well, thank you. We did a Smite the Pony sketch once. I was clinging onto Darren Boyd's leg as he was trying to get married, saying, don't leave me, don't leave me. And I think I would be that kind of a mum, like, don't move out, just stay, just stay a little while. I can't imagine myself embracing empty nest with any kind of class. <laughs> I think the writers have a brilliant eye for uh, character and also the way different comedy characteristics mutate through the generations. Oh, <laughs> yes. Very good, Mum. Smiley faces. Well, not just any faces. Who is it? Is it me? Holly and Phil. Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. Yes, <laughs> of course. I always do a Kate Humble for your dad on Tuesdays. It's a really amazing cast. S Sally Phillips, who, who plays my daughter, is a comic genius. She does take after take, and she brings something new to every time she does it. And Darren Strange, who plays my son-in-law, again, just terrific. He has a lovely quality. People will love him. You know, his character is a sort of an innocent putz. And, and Susie Blake, of course, has been known very much to television viewers, who plays my wife, again, just absolutely magically funny.